Welcome to Employee Connect. In this video, we will show you how to log a support ticket on the Employee Connect support portal. Really easy. Just uh, log in to datakiosk.com.au slash ecnet. Put in your username and password and click login. This will bring you to the home page where you can access home downloads issue, contact us and log out. What we need to do here is just click on issue. This will open up the new issue page where you can select your product, which could either be Cirrus or Enterprise. So select which fits. Now select a severity related to the issue that you're logging into the system. Please check the severity legend on here to see which one fits the issue that you're raising for the portal. So this will serve as your guide for this test. I'll just put in severity three and then put in the title, test issue. And for the description, please make sure to be very explicit on the details, add steps on how to replicate the issue, and also add an attachment, which I'll show you later. You can also input the workflow ID, which is very helpful for troubleshooting, person ID, those details will, which will make it easier for our tech team to troubleshoot the problem that you're raising. Now for the attachment, just click on choose file, navigate onto your local machine and select the file that you wish to attach here. This could be a screenshot of the page or a screenshot of the exact error that you're reporting. Now if you want to save the issue that you just typed in, just click on the smiley button here to save and submit that and you'll be provided the ticket number. So this is your reference number. You can keep this number to keep track of the issues that you raised in Employee Connect. How do you uh, track the issues that you previously raised? You can go into issue tracking here on the left side menu, click on that button, and uh, you'll be rerouted over to the issue page. From here, you can see all of the tickets that you've raised, just click on the add button to open the form and see the details on there. You could reply and see the responses of the tech support team and the uh, employees that are answering your queries. Now from here on this page, you can also create a new issue. Just click on this button to get rerouted to the previous form where you can enter issue uh, information like we previously did, same here. Now, if you have a lot of tickets that you, uh, that you see on this page, you can use this um, filter on here to exactly type in the ID of the issue that you raised and you'll want to follow up or take a look at. Once you have the ID number or any pertinent details related to that issue, just click on the submit button right here to view the ticket. Again, click on this button to view the details and that will bring you up to this form. If you want to submit another a reply onto this ticket, just click on you. Make sure the status is open, make new assignment, and then select the person you're assigning it to. This would be the employee and a consultants and support team and yourself. Click on severity. Again, um, just refer over to the legend. An attachment can be put on here too, and then your comments. Now for the notifications, make sure that you have the assigned to checked. That way that whoever has the ticket will be sent a notification and will be informed of any updates that you add on to this ticket. Again, click on this button to save the form.